Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin Mac TV. Today, we would like to share how to solve this differential equation. Notice that there are two terms involving the variable y. One with y square and the other with y to the power of 1 or simply y. Which means that most probably this equation can be expressed in the form of Bernoulli differential equation. If that's the case, we are able to solve this differential equation easily. To express the differential equation as a general form of Bernoulli differential equation, first, take dx divides the equation, and we obtain x squared plus y squared minus 2xy dy dx is equal to 0, which means that 2xy dy dx is equal to x squared plus y squared. Now let's express dy dx in terms of x and y. So we have dy dx is equal to x squared plus y squared divided by 2xy. I'm going to split this function into two types. That means I have x squared divided by 2xy plus y squared divided by 2xy. Let's simplify and I obtain x over 2 multiply 1 over y plus 1 over 2x multiply y. And now we are able to convert this equation to the form of Bernoulli differential equation. So I should have dy dx plus negative 1 over 2x multiply y is equal to x over 2 multiplying y to the power of negative 1. By comparing, we have px is equal to negative 1 over 2x, qx is equal to x over 2, while n is equal to negative 1, since n is neither 0 or 1, which means that we have to rewrite the equation in the form of du over dx minus m minus 1 multiply px multiply u is equal to negative m minus 1 multiply qx by letting u be equal to y to the power 1 minus n. That is y to the power 1 minus negative 1 or simply y squared. Substitute into this general equation, we have du dx minus m minus 1 is negative 2, px is equal to negative 1 over 2x, u remain, and this is equal to negative again m minus 1 is negative 2, qx is x over 2. Simplify we obtain du dx minus negative 2 multiply negative 1 over 2, that is 1, which means that we left 1 over x multiply u. And for the right hand side, we have negative, negative, positive. 2 multiply 1 over 2 is 1, so we left x. With this form, I should determine the integrating factor that is equal to e to the power of the integral. Let's take the coefficient of u. So we have negative 1 over x and we should integrate with respect to x. And this is equal to e to the power of negative ln x or simply 1 over x. Multiply the integrating factor into the equation that we form. So we have 1 over x multiply du dx minus 1 over x squared multiply u is equal to 1. Next, multiply the equation by dx and we obtain 1 over x du plus u multiply negative 1 over x squared dx is equal to dx. Not this that if I differentiate u, I obtain du. If I differentiate 1 over x, I obtain negative 1 over x squared dx, which means that this is simply the reverse process of the product rule by differentiating the term 1 over x multiply u with respect to x. For the right hand side, remain as dx. With the equation that we form, we are able to integrate both sides with respect to x. So we have integrate differentiate no more, dx over dx no more. So for the left hand side, we left 1 over x multiply 
u and for the right hand side integrate dx is simply x since this is indefinite integral which means that we have to plus a constant c next i'm going to multiply the entire equation by x and i obtain u is equal to x multiply x plus c and u is equal to y square let's take square root on both sides so we have y is equal to square root of x multiply square root of x plus c however we should always bear in mind that when converting square to square root there must be a plus minus sign and hence we done okay that's all for this video thanks for watching hope you like this see you